how to become a coach and mentor today. Before we get into it, please make sure you subscribe down below. I always get asked, how did I become a coach? When did I really realize that I wanted to start helping people? And how did I really find my kind of place in the world? and really the online world. So we're gonna go over that in this video about how you can really double down and hone in on your specific gifts so you can become a coach and or mentor today, right now. Everyone talks about, well, isn't the coaching space so saturated? And the answer is no, there is room at the table for everyone. I always tell all of my clients this, there is room for you at the table to make as much money as you want and to grow and scale your business to heights that you would have never thought about. So let's get into it. Thing first, and that is honing in on your special skills and passions so you can really define your niche. Now there is so many different niches and so many different coaches out there. The basics ones would be like health coach, fitness coach. Then there's life coaches. I have offered my trauma services in the past as well. My manifestation. I feel you can coach anyone as long as you really have a special skill and there is a market out there. Now with coaches, it is to give you obviously some type of result. So if you are able to show someone how to perfectly fly a kite, right? Or you are able to show someone how to perfectly knit a sweater, then how are you not able to offer some type of coaching services? Now, I know that might seem a little off for some people, especially for the mainstream coaches, but for myself, there is always a business model and a stream of income that is always possible for everybody. And I literally say this to all my clients and I am able to help them build streams of income off of their passion. So please do not think that you have to be just a life coach, some type of guru to really be able to become a coach or even a mentor because you are coaching or mentoring specific people for a specific service that they want or a special skill that they want to acquire that you can help them with. So once you can really hone in on what that is for you, that is where you can really define your niche. And number two, you are going to research your industry, okay? So you are gonna go onto Google, you'll go onto Facebook, TikTok, Instagram is my favorite. That's really where I work a lot off of. And you are going to start researching your industry. Maybe someone else that has a kite flying account, someone else that has a sweater knitting account. And you are going to start seeing what they are doing and if they are offering these types of services and how you can really build off of that and how you can really kind of in a sense brainstorm on how you can really present your services within that type of market. Number three, develop and refine your skill. So even if this is your passion and it is a skill that you have and you've acquired, when you want to go and present these skills to clients and build services off of them, you really want to make sure that you have refined your skills to a real professional level. So that way, when you start bringing in paying clients, you are professional and they're really going to get their money's worth and you are offering value. I cannot tell you how many clients I take on that tell me that they spent 10K on this coach and they literally got no results, that they did this mentoring program and they got zero results. I have heard this for years and for me, it is absolutely just 
disheartening because there is people like myself, like yourself that has real skills, ability and products and services that we can offer to clients that they will actually get results. So please make sure that you are developing and refining your skills as you are in the process of learning how to become a coach and a mentor. Number four is creating your offer. So what services are you going to be giving your clients? Are you going to be coaching them one-to-one? -one? Are you going to do one-to-one -one coaching and give them a course to follow? All of these things you really want to think about and get started from the beginning. So I am a person that always prepares for success. So anytime throughout my entrepreneurship journey, I always made sure that I was prepared for success. So before I even started that Instagram page before I even started that YouTube channel and started making YouTube videos about my specific niche products or services, I already had a system in place that I was able to give a product and services to the incoming clients that would be coming in. So you really should be doing this as well. There are so many people that I know work kind of the opposite. They start building up, you know, their followers and everything else. And then they kind of start gauging on what type of services they want to offer for myself, especially because I am very big into mindset and manifestation and the law of assumption. If you know anything about me, I always want to make sure that I am prepared for success because I am assuming and I know it is going to happen. So for myself, what I always tell my clients is write out exactly the services that you want to give your potential and incoming clients and what offer you are going to give them. Now, down below is my um, referral link, no extra charge for you to join Kajabi. I am on the Kajabi platform. It is a little bit more expensive than Teachable per month, but you can go with the lowest option. And for myself, I absolutely love it because you can add as many products as you want. But what I really love about Kajabi is that number one, they have an app so your clients can get access to your app. All my clients have access to the app. So it makes it super easy for them to speak with me in the community, with network, with other people and get all of my course material and everything that they need straight on their phone. They don't have to go to a desktop or into the browser. It's an app. And then also they do not keep as much money as Teachable does. So Teachable keeps a percentage of your revenue and then they also actually hold a percentage of your revenue for 30 days. So you do not get your full payouts. With Kajabi, you do, and i that's what I really love about it. So that is what I am using. You can take a look at them. Again, the direct link will be down below. Building your portfolio. So I have so many prospects that DM me on my Instagram page, just asking me for some advice. And I always respond to everyone. I really try to help out as much people as possible, whether they are just someone who has a simple question or obviously my clients, but I literally answer everyone. And a lot of the questions that I always seem to get is, well, how am I going to be able to get clients if I don't have clients and I don't have reviews? So my biggest piece of advice to anyone that messages me on Instagram or to my clients as well is my favorite thing to do or what my favorite thing to tell them and what I did, excuse me, is offer your services. Once you have everything in place, you have refined your skills, you know the services that you want to offer is offer your services for free to a couple of people or at a very, very low rate. So that way you can get some reviews. You want them to be honest and you can also get some really great feedback. 
So feedback is really helpful in our business and really in any business. You need constructive criticism and you need to be able to receive constructive criticism, especially as a coach or mentor. So you can really keep on refining your skills throughout your career. So that is for me, building a portfolio in the beginning is absolutely crucial. And those are just some really easy ways to do that by just offering your services for free in the beginning, just so you can get some testimonials. And also again, that honest feedback to where you know you might be lacking, what people really want to see from you, or what they really actually benefited from. So that is just super helpful to really building your portfolio and also refining your skills and refining your services. Number five is figuring out if you need a certificate for the specific niche that you are going to be in. So for a fitness coach, I will say that there is a lot of fitness coaches that do not have a fitness certificate that still offer services. And really the same thing with a life coach, if you really need a certificate, but you really want to make sure and this kind of ties into number two about researching you know your industry is just really figuring out if you are able to offer your services with or without a certificate but i always want to make sure that my clients and my viewers understand this because you don't want to kind of play with fire if you're in a specific niche or offering specific services maybe something in mental health where or you know physical health with ailments where you really have to figure out if you are able to present this type of information to people without a certificate and be able to stay in some type of guidelines but again it's why i always tell my clients and my viewers to make sure that you're researching your industry and lastly is growing your career so once you have decided that you really want to go into the coaching niche you want to become a mentor and you have refined and defined your niche and done everything else that we have discussed in this video now it is time to grow your career so i have so many videos coming for you guys about how you can really do that on social media and and where you can find paying clients. Now I help my clients grow and scale their coaching businesses to new heights, 10 K 20 K 30 K per month. So you can always reach out to me on Instagram. My direct Instagram link is down below. DM me if you have any questions or you can book a free call directly with me also in the video description down below but you have to now market yourself and grow that beautiful coaching career okay whether it's on social media email marketing starting a podcast making youtube videos you have to get yourself out there and another really great thing and why i really started offering my free services or services for free in the beginning is that once someone really likes your uh, services your offers and they really benefited from your services you can also now grow your career by referrals so i really hope this video was helpful on how to become a coach and a mentor in today's market. If you have any comments or questions, or you feel like I left some stuff out, comment down below. Let's all help each other out. Thanks so much for watching guys. Until next time.